old age, its causes and prevention. Sanford Bennett exercises to rejuvenate your body and face without getting out of bed. The two photos are not of father and son. They are of the same man, writer Sanford Bennett. The difference between these photos is 22 years. And in the photo on the left, Sanford Bennett is 50 years old. And in the photo on the right, he is 72 years old. Born in 1841, Sanford Bennett was a bookkeeper. Sanford was not very lucky with heredity. His father passed away at the age of 42. There were no long livers from his mother's line. By the age of 50, Bennett was balding, his cheeks sagged, his muscles becoming flabby, and his many wrinkles made him look much older than he really was. This picture was complemented by a wide range of chronic diseases. Sanford Bennett tried to solve his health problems with traditional medicine, but was unsuccessful. After that, he came up with exercises that he performed in the morning before getting out of bed. Daily workouts have made Sanford Bennett look much younger than his years at the age of 70. It has also been proven by medical examinations. After 11 years of daily exercise, Sanford Bennett underwent a medical examination. At the time, doctors concluded that Bennett's health indicators were consistent with a man in his late 40s. Oddly enough, all the wrinkles on Sanford's face disappeared as well. Bennett claimed that the reason for this was quite simple. This man had his own theory in which he explained why people age. According to this theory, as we age, mineral deposits accumulate in our tissues that impair the body's metabolic processes. In 1912, Sanford Bennett published a book titled Old Age, Its Causes and Prevention. It describes the full range of exercises that the author of the book practiced daily. The technique of all these exercises boils down to tensing and relaxing the muscles. Below you will find some Sanford Bennett exercises that will help you get rid of fat belly, baldness. In the photo, you can see that the 72-year-old Bennett's bald spot has disappeared, as well as exercises to tighten or warn about a hanging facial oval. Exercises to strengthen the muscles of the whole body. This exercise is good because it also works muscles that we don't use during our daily activities. The exercise is performed lying in bed before eating. Lying on your side, bend your arms at the elbows and wrap your hands around them. Keep your head straight. Then we tense all the muscles, stretching the body into a string. After that, relax the body for a couple seconds and tense up again. Perform three. Four approaches with alternating tension and relaxation of the body. For those who are new to the Bennett method, tense the muscles for three, five seconds, gradually increasing the time to 10 seconds. Obese belly exercises. First, lie flat on the back, tense the abdominal muscles, put the palms of your hands on it, pressing them tightly against the surface of the abdomen. Then start moving the fat deposits alternately forward and backward 25 times. It is important when doing this exercise to move not only the skin, but all the subcutaneous fatty tissues as if you were doing laundry on a washboard. Since massaging the abdominal skin will not have the expected effect, we press against the tense abdominal muscles rather than pressing our palms inside. The second. Being in the starting position, start boxing the air while alternately contracting and relaxing the muscles of the pair abs. Perform 25 quick strokes, one approach. Gradually increase the number of approaches to four. Baldness exercise. Under the scalp is a tendon helmet that sticks to the skull with age. In places of such sticking tissues are deprived of full nutrition. To prevent this from happening, Sanford Bennett recommended performing a daily scalp massage. We start at the back of the head. Place the fingertips of both hands on the back of the head. Gently and calmly begin to move the fabric back and forth, then change the position of the hands, moving them slightly higher. Massage the entire scalp in this way. When performing the massage, it is important to move just the tissues around the skull and not rub the hair itself. This kind of massage helps to tighten the facial oval as well a technique for tightening facial muscles. During all facial exercises, Sanford Bennett recommended proceeding carefully, 
without sudden movements to avoid stretching the skin. In this article, you'll find one technique that Bennett called working the facial muscles. Press the inner lower part of the palm of the hand against the cheeks and with a palpable pressure, advance the tissues towards the temples. As in the previous exercises, you should not move the skin, but all the tissues along the zygomatic bone. After the movement, we remove our palms from our face and place them back in the starting position. Perform the exercises 10, 15 times each. It remains to be added that daily exercises helped Sanford Bennett to keep in great shape even at the age of 85. And his contemporaries said that over the years, the writer only gets younger. Who knows how long Sanford Bennett would have been able to live if he hadn't been killed in an accident. In your hand is the best tool in the fight against age-related changes. Master Mu Yuchun, how to massage the face without touching it. How do we distinguish a young person from an old person? A look at his face is enough to determine his age. And it doesn't matter if the person in front of you is a woman or a man. As we age, our muscles become weaker. It makes the facial oval change, says Chinese master Mu Yuchun. Magnetic hand field against facial wrinkles. In one of his lessons, 74-year-old Mu Yuchun talks about a massage that can help you look younger at any age, bringing back freshness and a pleasant complexion. The Chinese master says that as we age, our face either becomes fuller, the muscles weaken and sag like a hammock where excess fat accumulates, or the face can lose its fat layer. In this case, it thins, facial volume decreases, skin thins, loses elasticity, and wrinkles appear. A facial massage can help combat these age-related problems. According to Master Mu Yuchun, the massage can be performed without even touching the skin with your hands, using the magnetic field technique of the hands. The Chinese master also opposes the use of various oils while performing a facial massage. In many cases, it does not bring the expected effect in the fight against wrinkles. In addition, you can never be completely sure how safe the composition of this oil is for your health, how much chemistry it contains. Your hands are the best tool in the fight against wrinkles and other age-related changes. The massage I'm going to tell you about is not only for facial rejuvenation, it also addresses many health issues, says Mu Yuchun. Techniques for performing massage. Before performing a massage, it is important to warm up your hands. This is done by rubbing the palms of your hands together. After you have rubbed your hands together, separate your palms by keeping them facing away from each other. At this point, you will feel a slight resistance between your palms. To intensify this sensation, you should massage the wrist on one and the other hand. With your right hand, grasp the wrists on your left hand and make several relaxed rotational movements around the wrist. Then change hands. Mu Yuchun points out that these rotational movements should not be vigorous with strong squeezing of the wrist so that the pressure does not rise. After this massage, we rub our palms again and spread them apart to feel the magnetic field between them. It is expressed in a feeling of pleasant warmth, increased blood flow to the palms. Master Mu says to listen to these sensations, to feel the pulsation in the palms of your hands. It will have its own rhythm, similar to the rhythm of the heart. Now let's start the facial massage. Bring the palms of your hands to it without touching the skin itself. Make slow circular movements along the surface of the face without touching it. At the same time, you will feel that your face seems to be attracted to the palms of your hands. You will also feel the blood rush to your face and warmth spill over it. Massage of the lips and nose is performed as follows. Cover your nose and mouth with clenched palms, inhale and spread your palms apart. Exhale and close your palms. Repeat the nose and lip massage several times. The massage concludes with an exercise that Mu Yuchun calls Lotus. Bring your hands together at the wrist and palms apart. It looks like an open flower. In this position, place the palms of your hands on your face, lightly touching the skin. Then start moving the palms of your hands over the skin of your face from the chin towards the back of your head. It is not necessary to put a lot of pressure on the skin. 
the movement should resemble a light stroking motion. After the fingers of the hands meet at the back of the head, return the palms of the hands to the original position of the opened flower. Perform the exercise several times. At the end, leave your fingers on the back of your head and massage the back of your head with circular movements. Massage of the back of the head, according to Mu Yukun, stimulates blood circulation, including that of the face, relieves spasms and relaxes muscles, helps to improve skin tone. I eat a lot of food, but I'm still not fat. Massage from a Chinese master. Mu Yuchun is for those who are dissatisfied with their figure. I had one student who was dissatisfied with her figure. She thought she was fat. She said in order to lose weight, you have to eat less. Four months later, I saw this student again. She was very thin, her face yellowed. I asked her how she was doing. She replied to me that she was very weak. I said that eating little is bad practice. I showed her a simple massage that helps to lose weight, but most importantly, this massage helps to restore the whole body, recalls a case from his practice, Chinese master Mu Yuchun. According to Mu Yuchun, many people think that if they eat little or no food, they will definitely lose weight. Some people, in order to lose weight, start sleeping less or loading themselves up with different jobs. They will definitely lose weight in the end, but it will be at the expense of their health. Mu Yuchun is convinced. Because when a person denies himself the necessary amount of food, his energy level drops and illnesses begin. If these diseases start, they are difficult to treat because it is already a complex problem, not just the stomach. Every day I eat a lot of food. At one time I eat half a kilogram of rice with some greens. But look, I'm still not fat. Some people tell me they are fat because they eat a lot. But I tell them that there are also people who eat little, but they are still fat. Why is this happening? Because people are lazy, they like to eat, but they don't like to move. They don't want to be healthy, explains the Chinese master. Why does a person lose energy when a person starts eating less? According to the Chinese master, the less food that enters the body, the less strain on the body, and the less energy the body itself produces. As a result, the functions of some organs decline, making the whole body weaker and vulnerable to disease. So how do you solve an overweight problem? First, Master Mu Yuchun recommends eating whatever you feel like eating. If you want meat, then eat meat. If you like bread, then don't deny yourself bread. Secondly, after eating your body should be given a little rest. You do not need to get into work immediately after eating. Thirdly, you have to realize that the energy you receive with food should be consumed. During the day, you should either walk, do a set of physical exercises, or do self-massage. Mu Yu Chun's Self-Massage Complex Master Mu offers a simple self-massage complex that not only helps you lose weight, but also gradually restore the whole body. The first place to massage is at the base of the thumb, there is a hill on the palm of the hand at the base of the thumb. It is necessary to massage this area on one and the other hand. According to the Chinese master, you can tell how much a person eats by this hill. When a person eats little, this place gets thin and many little wrinkles appear on it. This is an indication that there are beginning to be problems with the stomach or intestines. Massaging the hill at the base of the thumb can be done in a variety of ways. You can massage by pressing on the hill with your thumb, first on one hand, then on the other. You can take a ballpoint pen, clasp it between your palms, and rubbing your palms apart, move the pen between your palms. After that, massage the tubercles, which is on the inside of the palms at the base of the other fingers. These tubercles are associated with various organs. For example, massaging the bump at the base of the little finger is good for the kidneys, and massaging the spot at the base of the index finger is good for the stomach. The tuberosity massage is performed with the thumb first on one hand, then on the other. Next, we move on to massage another point. You can find it by placing three fingers on your wrist. This point is responsible for the organs in the abdomen and chest area. You should also massage this point with your thumb first on one hand, then on the other. During this massage, 
The work of the internal organs is activated, so you will want to eat or drink afterward, warns Mu Yuchun. The Chinese master also points out that this massage is safe and can be performed by everyone. The complex is completed by massaging the area from the beginning of the neck to the navel. Place the fingers of both hands on the area under the neck, press lightly on the fabrics with your fingers, and start moving the fabrics up and down, creating a vibrating motion. Then move your fingers a little lower, again giving a vibrating massage. This is how we get to the navel. Through this massage, blood flow is improved and the blood vessels become stronger. Master Mu Yuchun recommends to perform the whole described complex two, three times per day, spending up to 20 minutes per massage. Try this massage every day for two weeks. I think that after this time, the result will already be noticeable. With this massage, your body will gradually start to recover, says the Chinese master. An ancient pre-Chinese practice from Chinese master Mu Yuchun that improves memory and helps the brain to work at 90 as well as at 25. The technique, which offers to take advantage of the famous master Mu Yuchun, has been known since ancient times and is one of the golden ten dukey practices to improve blood supply to the brain. While seemingly simple, it really works. What is the essence of the technique? The secret is in our hands. There are many energy channels on the palms of a person, which form a powerful energy field, and very often we use its power without even realizing it. Remember, when a tooth hurts, we instinctively put a hand to the cheek and bruised place immediately, try to rub it with the hand to calm the pain. In the center of the palm is the main point with which we can transfer energy to where it is lacking. This practice is based on such redistribution of life-giving energy from the hands to the head. But before you start performing it, you need to prepare your hands, rub them well, warm them up, give acceleration to the energy flow. To keep your hands warm for a longer time, rub not only the palms, but also the wrists, and then bring the palms to the head without touching it with the hands and smoothly turning the head to the right-left, enter the palms around the head. If the hands are no longer warm, rub them vigorously again. Master Mu Yuchun says the best time for such exercises is in the morning, and 10 minutes every day is enough to be as smart as a 25-year-old at 90. To improve memory and keep a clear mind to a deep old age, sometimes it is enough quite simple exercises that can be done by each of us. The main thing is not to be lazy.